Technical information produced by Tradewinds Climate Systems is intended for use by licensed HVAC contractors only. Inverter compressors are wound as a three-phase motor. Values across the terminals are the same because you don't have separate start and run windings. To test the compressor, turn the power off and disconnect the wiring harness from the top of the compressor. Set the meter to ohms and perform a resistance test between all terminals. Use the red lead on N and the black lead on U, V, and W. All data points should read about 1 ohm. Perform a continuity test taking U, V, and W to ground separately. Each data point should display OL or open line meaning they are not shorted to ground. You can also perform an ohms test on the main board to verify proper readings on the driver section of the board. With system power off, set the meter to K ohms. Measure the resistance between P and U, P and V, P and W, N and U, N and V, and N and W. The resistance should be above 10 K ohms with no large differences. You can also perform a diode test on the main board to verify proper readings of the bridge rectifier section of the board. With system power off, set the meter to the diode mode. Use the black lead on P and the red lead on U, V, and W. Use the red lead on N and the black lead on U, V, and W. All six data points should read between 0.3 volts and 0.7 volts. Performing the ohms test and diode test will verify that the power section of the board is good. These tests will mean you have checked the capacitors, bridge rectifier, insulated gate bipolar transistors or IGBTs, and the IPM module.